Okay, the uh, fender has now sat for a week, so this paint is well cured on the fender. And so the next step for me to do on this is to wet sand this with some 800 grit wet sandpaper. And I'm going to sand this whole section of the fender out here, probably up to about this portion of it here. And then uh, I'm going to mix up some more paint, clean it all off and lay a couple more coats of paint on here and fog it up into this front section uh, just to see how well it blends in to do a blend in the middle of a panel with this paint. If it doesn't work out then the car that I got to bring back in and do some repair work on will have to get panel painted which could be a little difficult because the quarter panel on the left side of the car is where some of the repairs have to be done so there's really no good brake uh, brake section on that other than yeah there's no good brake section on that car to do a repair so it, it may run into some hmm. yeah we'll have to see what we do when we get that car back in here but for now we're going to try this experiment with this paint hopefully this works out so that I can do some spot repairs on that car and not have to get into too much uh, overall paintwork on that car again. Okay, we did some sanding on the fender with some 800 and I started out with 800 because I'm not, not familiar with this paint and if you're not familiar with the paint that you're going to be sanding on, you don't want to go too rough with your paper and cut real, real deep and leave sand scratches. So I don't know how well this is showing up on here, but as you can see, I still need to sand in some spots along here where it's still you can see shiny and it kind of looks orange peely it's not smooth that means it still needs to be sanded so this paint actually is pretty hard once it's once it's cured so I probably can go at this with 600 to knock down the orange peel and get it smooth and flat and then go over it again 800 real quick just to knock down some of the deeper sand scratches from the 600 so they don't show in the new paint when it goes on. Well, I got the panel sanded. I had to go at it with uh, 600 to get all the orange peel out and then I went back and went over it one more time with the 800 just to knock down and all the 600 sand scratches in to get a nice even pattern in it. So what I use, uh, I use a wet dry, use a wet dry paper and whichever grit you need and I wrap it around, it's called a, a soft block, it's a flexible sanding block and it has two sides to it. One is a little bit softer and will contour a little bit better around curves and whatnot. But this is good for wet sanding. It gives you something to back up your paper with so because you don't want to use your fingers. Your fingers will are not flat. So when you sand your, your paint is not going to be flat. So you want to have a flat surface even if it is flexible. You want to have a flat surface that you have your paper wrapped around. And as I'm as I'm uh, sanding I'm just spraying with some regular water. You can put a little bit of dish soap in the water and it'll help guide glide help the paper glide on the the um, paint. This didn't need that. This is some really um, durable paint though. This is some hard paint. I really had to spend some time sanding this to get the uh, orange peel out of it. So I'm kind of I'm, I'm impressed with this paint so far. It is a good durable paint, so it should hold up pretty well on the car that I painted it on. 
And uh, so the next step is we're going to mix up the paint. I'll give this just a quick wipe with some prep solvent and we'll spray from here forward and as we get towards this section right here which is where I stopped sanding at I'm just gonna fog it over into here a little bit more my first coat will come right to the edge my second coat will go a little bit past and just kind of fog it out as it goes into the front of the panel and then we'll see we'll see how it, it uh, it dries and see if it kind of disappears into the old paint. All right, this morning we're going to get ready to paint this fender and do our blend and see how it turns out with our paint experiment. And I've got Ashton here to help me this morning. Are you ready to paint this morning, Ashton? Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think? Is it going to turn out good or are we going to have to do the whole fender? We're going to have to do the whole fender, you think? Yep. Well, that's why we're going to do this experiment, to see just what we got to do to get this paint to look right on the fender. So yep. sometimes you have to do that in order to know how paint's going to kind of lay out on things. Right? And this is how we learn. Paint work completed. Got my blend done, and right now my confidence level isn't very high at this just fading into a panel, mid-panel when you do a blend, uh, like I saw in those videos. Could be a reason why I can't find those videos anymore, because those claims weren't true. But we're going to put this fender in the sun and let it cure really good and see if it does kind of fade out some more into the area that I did my blend job in. Um, and then we'll go from there and see what we got to do when the car comes back in. I'm probably going to have to do a full panel repair or paint on the uh, on that car when it comes. So we'll have to see where I can find some brake lines out on the car to go ahead and do that. But for now, we're gonna we're gonna let this cure and cross fingers and see what happens. Maybe it will it will fade in more where you can't where you don't see a line. What I'm seeing right now is uh, right in this area here, the paint is a little bit flatter than either here or here. This is a matte finish, so it does have a sheen to it. 
<clears throat> and this right in here is just not as doesn't have as much sheen as the rest of it so like I said I'm gonna let it dry see what happens go from there the fender's been sitting out here for a couple hours now in the sun drying and I have to say this experiment was a failure so whatever claims that I saw when I originally found this paint about it being able to, to do a blend in the center of a panel and have it disappear were totally false. I mean, it doesn't look horrible, but you can definitely see where the, where the fade out is when you're doing the blend in the panel. I'll give you a look at it here. I don't know how well it's showing up, but right in this section here, is where the, the, you, it gets fogged out into the original paint and it is a flatter sheen than the rest of the panel as you can tell this has some gloss to you know it's got a matte finish to it the front has a matte finish to it and this right here is kind of flat now if you look at it straight on it almost disappears but if you're looking at it from the side or from the back you can definitely see it so what that means is i'm going to have to panel paint this car which that won't be a problem that'll match panel to panel will match so i won't have to paint the whole car but i can't do just a spot repair uh, where the car needs some some issues fixed on it these are the things you have to try you know you don't know until you try them and we've tried and it wasn't true well, thanks for following again. Uh, got, you got to see a little bit of paint work. If you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends about this. Hit that like button. Leave me some comments. When you do subscribe, make sure you hit the bell notification. And that will allow you to see my new videos as soon as they are released on YouTube. It will send you a notification that, you, that I've got a new video out. And you can go in and check out all the new things that are going on. You can see what kind of mayhem Ashton's getting into here with me in the shop and the new tools that he's learning how to use. As you can hear, the both of them are down here now enjoying each other's company. Well, again, thanks for following along and we'll see you soon.